And that was the only thing I miss about being dark skinned before the great rift, before our change, before our time came was when a girl called you cute, when a girl said you was fine, you knew you was fine. Like you knew you was, bro, like because back, you couldn't be a dark skinned dude without some unique sort of facial structure, without high cheekbones or a, or a chiseled jawline or something and not be pulling females, bro. You had to like, or having like a good set of waves, which, you know, I've never had good wave hair. Like you, you had to really like stand out. Because when people see, that's what people don't talk about. When you're seeing the the color preference thing at the time, like for example, if they're saying like a lot of women are saying like dark skins are in now, all that simply means is it's gonna sound so fucked up, but it is what it is. If you are a mid to level, if you are a mid to lower level attractiveness of a dude, your skin tone might give you an extra point or knock you down another point, if that makes sense. So in our era, like in the 2000s, 2009, 2010s. If you were a lighter skinned dude and you might be, let me not even say ugly, you might be mid, mid-level attractiveness. You might have just mid-facial structure. A woman might give you a point or two and fuck with you just because you light skin. Just P100 with you. Versus if you was a dark skinned dude, and if you was a dark skinned dude, don't get it fucked up. There were still some times where a girl would choose an uglier light skinned dude over you versus you. But if you was dark skinned back then, you had to really stand out. You wouldn't, let me tell you. You wasn't mid to lower level of attractiveness, dark skin, and you were still pulling bitches. Like, you were still pill, but it wouldn't be like, you know. You know, like I always say, you had to. It was a vibe to be alive, baby. <laughs>